course has arrived. Course has arrived from England. It's a packed audience waiting. <laughs> waiting. So we finally reached John O'Groats after a long day in the saddle and after the mandatory photo shoot opportunity we headed back the same way we come to the Betty Hill Hotel.
So we finally arrived at the Betty Hill Hotel in a fantastic location overlooking Torriston Bay and right on the North Coast 500 route. Beautiful. So we are in room three, which is a very lovely light area room, obviously been redecorated. Nice bed, nice and bright. But most importantly, look at the view. Stunning view over, I, think was, I don't know what bay it is, Betty Hill Bay, whatever, but it's beautiful. Another hot day. Nice modern bathroom. Shower, toilet. It was beautiful. Fantastic view. Another beautiful day. They all look good in that weather. Yeah, again, different to last night's Drumbeg Hotel. Now we're going to dip, get on to and sample the delights of the bar and the food. The Betty Hill Hotel. On a beautiful evening. But we've been on the bike all day long. And now it's time to settle down and have a nice IPA, which I think we've got here. And Nobby's Nuts. There's everybody. <laughs> After sampling some lovely Orkney IPA and enjoying the beautiful view, we went and had a fantastic dinner. The service was first class and the food was excellent. Or at least until 10 12. Well, morning folks, this is day six of our North Coast 500 trip on Scotland. Uh, last night we stayed here at the Betty Hill Hotel, which was a fantastic, brilliant location. As you can see, we've got this incredible beach down there. Last night the sun was shining, yesterday was just spectacular all around. Uh, I can highly recommend the hotel. Food was excellent, service was great. Just a brilliant place. So today, you see the weather is forecast today to rain at some stage. But to be honest, after yesterday and the time we've had, it doesn't really matter if we get a bit wet today. The whole trip has been amazing. So today we are heading to Dornock. So we're gonna, instead of going up to John O'Groats, which we did yesterday, we're going to take a leisurely scoot up to Thurso, then cut down and follow the east coast down for a while. An easier day today after the big mileage of yesterday, but just stunning. Scotland is stunning. Anyway, we'll tune in later on. Bye.
By the time we reached the east coast, not only had the weather not improved, it got slightly worse and it was overcast and drizzling and pretty miserable. So we decided to stop at the first available tea room, which happened to be in a little place called Dumbeath. What a difference a day makes, eh? Yesterday, through glorious roads and weather, 20, 24 degrees. Today, pretty grim, wet, gray, cold, 10 degrees. So I just stopped here for a quick pit stop. And it was like there's quite a few bikers thinking the same thing too. That's some tea room on the east coast. Today heading to Dornoch. We had a break, dried out our gear over a cup of tea, but really we wanted a decent lunch. So 15 miles further down the road, we stopped in a little town called Helmsdale. In Helmsdale, we found this place, the time and place, coffee house and restaurant. Highly recommended if you're passing through. Great place for a snack and a stop. Bite to eat. This is Helmsdale and you're in time and place. Time and place. All right, so with you folks coming down through Helmsdale on the North Coast 500, I can highly recommend this as a pit stop, time and place. Are you the owner? Yes. Uh, yes. What's your name? It's Robert. Yeah, this is Robert, the owner, <laughs> who's, who's a good man, looked after us really well. So I highly recommend a pit stop on the North Coast 500. The East Coast, not as spectacular and beautiful and rugged as the West Coast. Nonetheless, it was a nice road, nice ride down it, uh, but we were glad that we did the route clockwise rather than anti-clockwise because we got the best of the weather riding the beautiful West Coast. And today's ride was more what you might call typical Scottish weather, I guess. A few miles south of Helmsdale, we spotted a sign for a castle, Dunrobin Castle to be specific, and being a sucker for castles, we thought we'd swing by and take a look at it and see what it was like. Not really intending to go inside, but just to have a look from the outside. Dunrobin Castle is the most northerly of Scotland's great houses and the largest in the Northern Highlands. It's got 189 rooms. It's one of uh, Britain's oldest continuously inhabited houses dating back to the early 1300s and it's a home to the Earls and later the Dukes of Sutherland.
as nice as it would have been to go in and wander around when you've got all your wet riding gear on it didn't really appeal so we just had a quick stop a photo shoot and then got back on the road to Dornoch. Dornoch is a very old, established town and dates back a thousand years. But perhaps its least glorious claim to fame was the fact that it's the place in Scotland where the last witch was burned alive in a barrel of oil in 1722. Oh, and if you're a golf fan, the Royal Dornoch Golf Club can be found on the eastern edge of town and apparently it's one of the finest courses in Scotland. Folks, end of day six, and we are in Doorknock, and it's been raining all day, and it's still pretty miserable now. We're at the Doorknock Hotel. Hmm. It's quite big, it's quite old, it's quite tired. But let's just go inside and take a look around and check out our room, shall we? So 
So this is our room, 132. Let's take a look. Uh, excuse the mess being, we're just drying our kit after a wet day on the bike. So, first of all, bathroom. Well, this has got a bath. It's nice to have a hot soap when you've been on the bike for a few hours. Not an awful lot of space. That's why we've got all our gear on the floor in our bags. And it, but this is the important bit. It's a lovely view of a grey skies at the moment and the Donut Golf Course down there. But other than that, it's just a bit old. It needs a facelift, needs a but of, it's clean and functional. It's clean, it's adequate. And now, most importantly, we're going to go and check out the bar and see if that's adequate. <laughs> So this is the bar at the Donut Hotel. Thank you. Um, you have you got any IPAs there? Yes. Can I have one IPA? Yeah, I'll try one of those, please. Can you in the glass? Yes, please. Hotel. We're starting with the classic from cocktail. <laughs> and you can see it's packed. Well, the end is there, but if it's quite early, it's quite early. it is quite early. What do you get here before the rush starts in? So, how was that dinner then? A bit bland. To be honest, um, it filled a hole, but um, a bit tasteless. It's a bit turn now. The coach has arrived. <laughs> coach has arrived from England. It's it's a bit of a turn now. See, it's a it's a packed audience <laughs> waiting <laughs> waiting for the audience. It's coming on now. It's all kicking off, surely. Get into the toilet. <laughs> Up to the right, first door on the left. Oh, right. yes. Is it the ladies and the gents? It was almost there. It was almost there. Brilliant. Yay! Come on, you can crack that. No. Don't Don't nail die straights. It's so hard to do, like. Doesn't get much better than this. Lock it in now. There's another one. The big crowd finally arrives. Hold on, where are you going? You've only just got here. Yeah! 